Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I have a nice unboxing and review today of the latest and greatest New Air cigar winder door. New Air listened to our requests, what we always wanted to see. They went ahead and put it all together in one nice humidor. So let's go check it out. I'm gonna do the unboxing with you guys. Let's cut this baby open. Once you cut those plastic ties off, the box simply pulls up, making it easy for fixing it up. So I have to give it to you nowhere. You thought of everything. <laughs> and here we go. It's well packaged. So let's cut this tape off so we can remove these panels. So in here, we have the door handle, which is probably the only thing you actually have to put together. The new air, 840 count cigar humidor with opti temp so that you can have both heating and cooling and humidification built in. Let's check it out. Gotta admit, this thing is beautiful. If you have a man cave, this is gonna complement man cave really well. So let's finish taking this sucker out and see what she looks like. So here I am, I brought it downstairs to my man cave. Um, I have it set up right now on top of my pool table only because um, I don't really want to put it on the floor. This is a basement. I wanted to give you guys an inside look of this. Uh, one of the great, great features is the added lighting that New Air put in this unit. Um, they really listened to our requests. We kept asking for better lighting. They used to have this tiny light just up here. And once you put cigars in the tray, in the top tray, then everything else was dark. This so. unit comes with a strip of light on top and lights along the side. So look at it. As soon as you open the door, the lights come on automatically. And there they are. So you've got a total of one, two, three, four, five lights on each side running down. And just above the tray over here, there's a full length LED strip. Um, one of the great features also, when you close it, the lights go off automatically. Love this feature. Um, and just to give you an idea of how big the trays are in this humidor, um, I went ahead and I put 11 boxes of cigars in here. Now, it's all the boxes that I currently have right now, I, but you can definitely fit a ton more. Okay. Um, and let me take out these boxes. I'm gonna take out all the boxes that I have in here. Now, mind you, they're all different sizes. So when you stack your boxes in here, it's all a matter of getting them in whatever order fits best. Here's tray number three. I've got four boxes in this one. And here is the bottom tray, which is not as deep as the rest of them, um, but it does have a lot of space. So here in this bottom tray, I have another three boxes. So there you go. Anyways, the, the actual width of the tray itself is, um, I'm gonna say it's about 13 and three quarters, 13 and three quarter inches side to side, but the actual gap in between the center divider and the outside wall is six and, six and three quarter inches. So you've got six and three quarter inches of space on either side of this divider. Um, and as far as the space front to back, we're looking at 15 and a half inches of space front to back. Um, and that's the same for the other two shelves, so a total of three. The lower shelf, the lower drawer, I should say, 
um, is shallow. Um, this one only has front to back space about seven and a half inches. And side to side, we're looking at about one foot exactly, but it is very deep. So if we look at the depth on this one, we're talking six and three quarter inches deep. Now, if you notice over here, in fact, let me bring the camera a little closer here. In here is where we, um, where are we? There we go. In here is you remove this cap and this is where you add water for the built-in humidification system. And these drawers go back, they kind of lock into place. You feel like a little bit of a locking mechanism there. Um, and they are very smooth because they actually have these metal tracks. They're very smooth. Um, it also has two additional spots where you can uh, probably, I, I don't know if New Air is planning to sell these trays separately, but you might be able to add another two trays in these spots here, or you can actually adjust any of these up or down to accommodate, you know, whatever it is you need to put in here. The uh, controls are all inside. In order for you to access the controls, you have to open the door. Um, so let me show you right here. You have the, uh, th this is what you use to change for the settings between the temperature setting and the humidity setting. You use these buttons here, left and right, or up and down, I should say, to adjust where you want that set at. So let's say, for example, I want my cigar temperatures to be at 69, I touch that button, or at 68, or back up to 70. And if you hit it again, now you're gonna set the, how much humidity you want in there, set it to 68, 67. In my case, just for this purpose, I'm gonna leave it at 70, 70. After a few seconds, it actually stops uh, flashing. and goes back to the current humidity now. Forgive me for the low humidity, I am in the basement. Temperature in here is about 57 degrees right now. So of course, once I open the door, uh, and because I'm still seasoning this, the humidity drops pretty quick. But once you close the door, the humidity starts to rise right away. So it's very quick at bringing humidity back up. Um, and then here is where you change it between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Back here in the bottom of the unit, you'll see it's got the compressor. Um, it's got a fuse box right about there. Um, and this here, I believe, is the actual heating unit. This humidor is not only cooling, but also heating. I wanna show you one of the hidden features that this unit has that is really, really cool. Let's say, for example, I open the door, I grab a cigar, and I forget to close the door. You know, let's just say I kinda, I thought I closed it, but then there's a small gap, as you can see, the, the lights are off because I, I left the door open. I walk away and I'm you know, sitting and doing whatever. After a few minutes, watch what this unit does. If it's left open for five minutes, accidentally, like I did, but I didn't do it by accident, I did it on purpose. It actually starts beeping and flashing the lights to alert you that the door is open. That's a pretty neat feature. I like that. Um, that's it, I hope you liked my review. Please, uh, you know, if, if this was helpful for you in any way, hit the thumbs up and um, keep it smoky, my friends.